Before I started uh, riding, I used to think that everybody else had it really easy fitting in, but now I know that's not the case. I know that many other people face the same challenges that I do. So how it works is that when I'm talking, I point to these drawings using a laser pointer when I'm like pointing to them. I guess I can talk about stuff that other people would not feel comfortable talking about. One fear that I do you have is that if someone knew that I had autism, it might cause them to take me less seriously, especially if they saw me acting somewhat unusual. This one's a drawing of Queefs or Central Market, and it's taken from the first person perspective. Central taught me the importance of keeping a positive attitude towards work. I think one of my regrets from college was that I wasn't more aggressive in pursuing relationships with like-minded people, so just be kind to everyone and have an open mind and don't be afraid to change your own mind. Colleges have a lot more to offer you than you might expect. I don't want my autism to define who I am. There is sort of a debate in the autism community whether people should use people first language or identity first language. People first language is when you say people with autism and I prefer that view because it allows me to let autism be one part of who I am and I can be more than just having autism. Audiences say that they like how my stories are positive or how it makes them feel like a better person. It makes me feel more confident in my abilities, and it makes me feel more confident about who I am. I think it's great that I'm making a difference.